We are going to discuss LAN and WAN topologies in this visuals. Well, there are two networks which are local area network and wide area network. Local area network is a small type of network. Such type of networks belong to a particular building or a, or a particular area. The other network is wide area network. Wide area networks are considered as large type of networks. These networks belong to wider areas. Like you are connecting your network to the network which is hundreds of kilometers away. Wide area network range is very wide. Well, you can establish the connectivity between networks which belong to two different countries. Internet is also the example of wide area network. Well, we are going to implement local area network and wide area networks in this whole CCNA series. We have got the devices which are required to configure a network like routers, switches, computers, etc. In which design we will connect these devices to form a LAN or WAN. We connect these devices in different designs, such designs of organizing these devices are known as topologies. Let's discuss LAN and WAN topologies. We are starting from LAN topologies. Now bus topology. You can see these devices are connected to a single cable. Any of these devices when sends the data this transmission can be seen by all the devices which are connected to this single cable. This is the topology which is known as bus topology. It is also forming the shape of a bus. Bus topology is implemented by Ethernet 802.3 networks. We have discussed Ethernet 802.3 in our previous visuals. Now let's move towards next topology. Here it is ring topology. Under this topology, devices are connected with each other in such a way that each device can receive the data from one link and transmits it on the other link. At the end, these devices form a shape of a ring. Well, you can see these devices in a ring topology, token ring 802.5 and FDDI 802.4. These both terms implement this type of topology, which is ring topology. Now let's move towards the next topology, it is star topology. Well. When the devices connect to a center point such as switch, this forms a star topology. Well, under this topology, when a device sends a data from, for a particular device on the same topology, this data is handled by the center point which is switch. This center point then sends this data to the destined device Ethernet 802.3 implements star topology also. Well, now let's move towards final topology for LAN topologies. It is tree topology. Well, this is the kind of bus topology, but you will see multiple branches and with each branch you will find multiple devices. As you can see in this tree topology. Well, these are the topologies which belong to local area networks. Now let's move towards WAN topologies. Number one, we are going to discuss peer-to-peer -to -peer topology. Well, it is the same topology which we have discussed previously. Peer-to-peer -to -peer topology acts same like bus topology. Well, but there is a difference of technology. As we have discussed that LAN belongs to same area whereas Wide area network belongs to different areas. Under wide area network, devices connect with each other using WAN connection. Well, we will discuss WAN connection types under WAN section. Well, it is forming a bus. 
For transmission of data, these devices depend on each other's same like bus topology. This is how peer-to-peer -to -peer topology is established. Now let's move towards the next topology of wide area networks. Here you can see. Well, this topology works same like how a star topology works for local area network. While using this topology for wide area networks, it has some different names. This topology also known as hub and spoke topology. It is also known as point to multi point topology. Each wide area network device connects to a center point using WAN connection forming a star. Under this topology, one WAN device connects with other WAN devices. Well, this one device acts as a center point. This topology is used most for implementing wide area networks. This is how star topology is implemented under wide area networks. Now let's move towards the next topology of wide area networks. Here you can see ring topology. Implementing ring topology for wide area networks performs same like how ring topology performs under local area network. Under wide area network, each device connects to the other device using WAN connection in such a way that each device can receive the data from one link and transmits it on the other link. And thus it forms the shape of a ring finally. Now this is how ring topology formed under wide area networks. Now let's move towards next. Now here it is full mesh topology. Well under full mesh topology each WAN device has a direct connectivity with every WAN devices which belongs to different areas. This connectivity is established using WAN connection type. Well, as you can see, each device has a connectivity with all the other devices separately. Implementing full mesh topology is an expensive way of implementing WAN devices. Well, this topology will helpful under situation where connection fails. Because under this topology, we have multiple connections. Now, we are moving towards final topology. Here it is, partial mesh topology. Under partial mesh topology, not all the WAN devices have full connectivity with other WAN devices. Rest of the things are same. This topology costs less than full mesh topology. This is how partial and full mesh topologies are implemented. Well, with this, I am concluding this visual. We have discussed local area network uh, topologies and wide area network topologies in detail. I showed you these topologies. Now, if you have any problem, you can just replay these visuals and be prepared for upcoming visuals. Thank you.